Hi Kevin, so um, you're going to give us a little chat about uh, what happened when you started taking a load of naltrexone. Yeah. And, um, so I met you, uh, I haven't actually met you when you started taking LDN, but uh, your wife Lynn was a friend of my brother. And she told my brother that you had a problem with psoriatic arthritis. Yes, yeah, that's right. In about November 2013, if I remember rightly, I, after recommendations, I inquired about starting taking LDN. I did a lot of, quite a lot of research on the internet just to convince myself uh, it wasn't an extreme treatment or uh, something too out of the ordinary. I found that to get it prescribed I would have to go through a, um, a recommended doctor on the internet. So I found out all about it. And what I can remember filled in a questionnaire on the internet, sent it to the doctor, the doctor in Glasgow, who was recommended because he'd found that low dose naltroxine had uh, a side effect when prescribed solely as naltroxine that anybody with autoimmune system problems, it showed a uh, a positive treatment effect so LDN got the prescription so you start on a what I remember, you start on a low dose and it's titrated up a very low dose of low dose very naltroxine. low dose naltroxine is nothing like full dose naltroxine that's perhaps mm -hmm. one of the problems people find naltroxine is used for opiate naltrexone, naltrexone isn't it yes for opiate withdrawal and class A drug withdrawal but low dose naltroxine is a very very minute amount that the two are not connected so start at a very low dose as a liquid over the week from what I remember you titrate it up to a full dose and that all went okay a full dose of low dose naltroxine. yes, yes full dose of low dose Which yes 4.5 yes milligrams the only side day, effects yeah. I noticed is that you do get um, more dreams not unpleasant, but you certainly get a heavy, a heavy, more dream routine. That's the initial ones. Uh, and maybe a slightly altered sleep pattern. Maybe slight more disturbances, but nothing significant. So you never actually take it at a different time of day? You always No, it was recommended you take it about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. Start off with it. First two or three days, nothing. And then suddenly, which cannot be put down to anything else, nothing else changed, but one morning I woke up and whereas normally it would take me an hour to 90 minutes to get flexibility, to get movement in all my joints, aches, pains, didn't feel like getting up, poor night's sleep, but this morning about four days after starting it I had virtually no pain and near normal flexibility in all the joints. Now, I couldn't put it down this week, yes, it was, it was a bit like a miracle, it was, I think I've, I'll check on the computer later, I kept a little diary. I couldn't put it down to anything else, I've not changed any other tablets, I've not changed any other routine, any diet. So, of course, I was convinced that it was doing some good. And I've been on it ever since, which is coming up to now, November 13, two and a half years probably. And um, what I would say is that it is certainly, if you've got any autoimmune system problems, which is a whole range of ailments, uh, from what I had, psoriatic arthritis, arthritis, rheumatism, anything like that, which is a, uh, comes under a very huge umbrella, it is certainly worth trying. It, will, it cannot do any harm, it it will may well and certainly will slow down any worsening of the ailment and in some effects may uh, have a much more beneficial effect and perhaps slightly make it better. So I mean over I first met you you started taking it in November 2013 and I first met you in about April 2014. Yeah, the yes, after Christmas the following year. Yeah. And uh, I remember you were walking with a stick and... 
aches and pains. Yes. Aches and pains. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and but you, you, both you and your wife assured me that it was working quite dramatically. Yeah. I think what happened is that with the sudden, like miraculous effect after the first week, you perhaps have an over expectation that you you will suddenly get even 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 better. <laughs> it will all disappear. That it's will just, not happen. It's not magic. It's not magic. <laughs> and. So then you, which is what has happened over the years, you reach a plateau of either not getting any worse or getting slightly better. So you have got the beneficial effects and you just keep taking it. It may have a, a range of other side effects like dementia, Alzheimer's, other aging ailments will either not happen to me, <laughs> hopefully, or will come much slower. That, I mean, the I, I met you again in 2015, which is just last year, uh, yeah. the summer of last year in France again. And um, you, to me, you'd improved quite dramatically between I would say, yeah. 2014 and 2015. You might have not thought you had, but certainly to me, me and my brother, who hadn't seen you for yes. years, wow, like you're rejuvenated. Walking yes, I did, I did feel slightly rejuvenated. Perhaps by then, I'd realised it wasn't a miracle cure. So you, you reach that plateau, which gives you more confidence. So all the habits of perhaps with the ailments walking, not being not being sort of too easy walking and thinking you've got to take it steady, have disappeared. And I was perhaps more confident at what I got to. Yeah. I mean, as I said to you, the only problems with people getting it are perhaps threefold. One, GPs, unless you're very lucky, are loath to prescribe it and perhaps haven't got the time to investigate it. Two, to actually get it prescribed and taken is not a conventional method. It's either, it's, it's connected with internet, the phone, it's not face to face. And I can understand that people might be confident, not confident in that. But I would certainly discuss it with a GP because I talked to my GP and he said, by all means, try it but it is out of my knowledge to be able to prescribe it. You, there are about... Do doctors are very loath to prescribe something, something out of the order. Yeah. Yes, and again, with it being uh, associated with uh, Class A drugs, they are perhaps loath to investigate it a bit further. There, there are there's research, as you know, which say it has beneficial effects, but with doctors' time limits and being out of mm -hmm. the ordinary, they may well be loath to do it. But I would certainly tell your GP because you might find he's one of the ones who will take the time and will prescribe it for you I mean the only other which perhaps thing which is slightly off-putting as I said it, it's an unconven unconventional way of, of getting it internet or phone and secondly as I said it's, it's associated with class A and thirdly you've got to probably unless you're very lucky pay for it but I wouldn't let any of those three methods uh, let me put up let you put off stop you taking it it is worth persevering it can't do any harm it certainly has done me some good as, as you know mm -hmm. and I have recommended it to several people and will keep recommending it and as they get worse I will try and convince them that it's worth going slightly out of the ordinary way of getting it and even help them to do it mm -hmm. by you know taking the initial phone call doing helping them with the internet uh, and uh, giving it a go and well, one thing I do f f mm. think is a bit odd that uh, I know GPs are busy, but there's loads of information on the internet, and there's lots of doctors now. Well, not, not lots, but mm. quite a, a, a good minority of doctors who are prescribing LBN, and they're just singing the praises mm. of it for I all sorts of conditions. Yeah, I think if you go on the internet, there is a list of about 30 GPs, or maybe more now, in GP in, in, in Great Britain who will prescribe it. Now, I don't know this method, but you may well find you can be referred to one of those GPs who can simply uh, prescribe it as an NH prescription. I'm sticking to the way I do it via a private prescription. Once every three months, I ring uh, a chemist in Glasgow who, who uh, obtains the prescription from the doctor and then it by, by post sends it to me and it works. There's no problem. Uh, uh, there's never been any problem at all. So you never actually met a doctor, did you? I to spoke to him. Over the internet I think I spoke screen. to him over the phone. Yeah. I've got three or four emails from him uh, over the internet, and he does reply to personal questions. I asked him about payment methods. I asked him about interaction with other drugs. I'm taking um, Tramadol as a painkiller, 
uh, I asked him quite a few questions and within 24, 48 hours he replied back as a GP. So there is that personal element there, there is a phone number, the Dixon's Pharmacy who I use to get it prescribed are very open and very uh, informative if you want to discuss it further. So I would say to anybody it, it can be life changing and it's worth giving it a go. Well thanks very much for that Kevin. I'm that's sure fine. Um, one or two people I may hope that's of great hopefully. use and I maybe some doctors may yes. <laughs> listen to you. I would if I could do I would have a bet with anybody that started taking it they would feel the benefits within a fortnight yeah. and probably wish they started it earlier. <laughs> well everybody's different we <laughs> Yes but I would still I would still do I'd still be confident in that and I'm not really confident in, in, in making promises like that. I'm not actually making a guarantee but uh, if I'd got someone in front of me who was a, a friend, I would, I would shake their hands and, and say, I bet you within a fortnight to a month, you will be glad you started taking it. So that can't be any better recommendation than that, can it? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kevin. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you.